This week is my last chance, my last opportunity to crush each workout. Oh. Oh. Come, on. Come on, champ. Come on. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Not much left. All the days, months, and years in the gym, staying disciplined, never, never giving up. It's all coming down to this. Two weeks. Staying relentless. Staying resilient. Sacrificing. Putting in the work every day. Staying committed. One goal. Opportunities now. Two weeks. 15 days. To the end. Finish. Finish strong. All glory to God. He's the only way. I wouldn't even want to try to do it without him. Only with you, God. To honor and glorify you. In Christ Jesus' name. Oh. 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 
was the goal. Fifteen. Each arm. It's like uh, someone who's running a race. You just got the blinders on and you don't stop sprinting until you cross the finish line. I don't mean hit the finish line. I mean you're past the finish line. It's not over till it's over. And that will be Saturday night in 16 days. So I think we're in a really good spot now. I like what we're bringing thus far, but it's not over until it's over. And we're going all the way through the finish line. So my mindset is not about how I look today and 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 if the show is today. It's uh I got work to do. I'm sprinting. I have the blinders on. I'm focused. Every rep, every set, every workout, every day counts. Everything that I do counts. And I just can't skip a beat, man. I can't hesitate thinking that uh, the guys are running behind me. I'm in the lead. You can't think like that. That's how you get past. Yeah. And even if you don't get past, you're still not going to run your best race. And I want to run my best race. You know, the guy that set the all-time world record in the 440, you know? You know, when you when there's a new guy, a new champion, a new world record holder, right? They weren't thinking about winning and losing. They were thinking about being their best and what they were able to do. And if I rest and think that I've got it in the bag, then whether I win or lose, I'm not going to be my best. And I, I, I really just want to know that when I'm done competing years from now, that there is not any more that I could have done, not any more that I could have given besides what I gave each and every day. And uh, when I do decide or when the time is done for me competing in bodybuilding, I want to be satisfied knowing that I did give everything. No matter if I won 20 times or if I never won, I just want to know that there was nothing more I could have done and I want to be proud of that. Again, whether I win once, 15 times, zero times, I'm running my race all the way through. <clears throat>
it 16 days away 16 to prejudging 17 to finals probably 11 more workouts all the years coming down to this all these last few weeks and months from this year's prep smashing it this week Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
God. Was the first exercise the way i see it with this being the final week before peak week that means this is the last workout that i'm gonna do like this is the this workout right here is the last time i'm gonna do this workout all prep so this final week before peak week i have one more workout Per body part so hamstrings glutes and calves this workout that i've been doing over the last couple months this is it the final one and then tomorrow is the final chest day and then the final back day and then the final quad day i only have two more leg days i mean again peak week we're gonna be hitting everything again but it's it's not the same workouts um you know, we'll, we'll probably touch up on, like I said, everything, but the way I see it, it's, this is the final hard training session of the year. So my last chance to do my very best on this workout and the rest of this week. I haven't lost too much strength. A little bit, maybe like 10%, but it's more just the endurance that I've lost, which is how it should, should be, I think. You know, not I think, I mean, it's how it should be. I'm not gonna have as much endurance, but strength shouldn't go down too, too much. Thank goodness it didn't. Again, maybe like 10%. Some days it's, I'm actually stronger.
Yeah. Come on. No more. If you weren't wearing such an oversized shirt, I'd love to see the physique. Can I see it? You're maybe, 12 days out? Maybe in a minute, yeah. In a minute. I think I get to the work first. <laughs> Grab me if you do. I want all right, all right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Finish strong. Finish all the way through. No stone left unturned. Leave nothing to question. Give absolutely everything. Give it your all. Take pride in that. Three hour training, three hour workout, Ham calves, hamstrings, glutes, smashed 12 days out. Never wanted it so bad in my life. So many things I'm doing it for, so many reasons. I wanna honor and glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to do it for my family, my wife, my child on the way is going to be here in just a few weeks just to uh, make a positive impact on the world. Of course, to be Mr. Olympia, make history and be the first two division Olympia champion, number 18 Mr. Olympia of all time, to just bring my best physique unfold all the hard work of all the years I've been training since I was 15 years old. I just want to bring my best. I just want to bring out the best in me to unveil the work that's been put in, not just over the last few months, but the, all the years I've been at this, but also to bring the best out of me in terms of being a better man, a better husband, a good father, a better friend, a better professional, a better businessman, a better Christian. And you know, it's it's not easy all the time. Sometimes I uh, I feel like uh, it's two steps forward, one step back, but. The thing is, is we're still moving forward. So sometimes I, uh, I feel like with it being so challenging mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, it can take a toll on the people around you. And then you question, are you, are you a good friend? Are you a good Christian? Are you a good husband? Will you be a good father? Are you a good professional? Um, are you really going to bring your best physique? The effort's never the question. It's always 100% effort. And sometimes we just overthink and we got to let go and let God and we want to take too much of the reins, especially in bodybuilding when there's so many things you're trying to control, all these variables. And, and really, it's just God's plan. You can only control so much and you want to try to take control of everything. And that's that's life in general for most people. Sometimes you just got to, or well, always you have to understand that you can only control what you can control. And that's your attitude and effort. And um, the rest that you can't control is up to God. You lean into him, give it to him. Like I said, three hour training session, was not expecting this. But uh cannot leave any stone unturned. I just can't do it. I have to be here as long as it takes. And uh, that doesn't mean to just move slow. I mean, we is nonstop all day. Every day we train, come here, we nonstop, give absolutely everything. 
it, I think it's the fact that I actually, get, you know, pushed it a few extra sets on, on a couple exercises. It was feeling good. I just want to keep going. But, um, you know, like I said, three hours. Now I got to go eat. I can't, can't spend too much time. It's got to wrap it up. Come on, get another one. Get another one. We got it. Come on. Come on. One more. Oh. Oh. Stay there. Come on, baby. Come on. Up. Come on, getting up. Come on. Come on, champ. Come on. Let's go, T. Strong. Up. Yeah. Come on. You got it. Slow. You got it. Two, three, go. Two, three, go. Two, three, go. Two, three, go. Two, three,
Move away. Squeeze. Perfect. Control it on the way down. And squeeze. Yeah. And again. Like a piston. Nice, man. Come on. You got this. All the way, all the way, all the way. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Up. Yeah. Let me have it right there. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Okay, right there. Be up. Now let me have it. Ah. Two more. Up. Ah. In. Ah. 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 Let's go. Ah. Ah. Let's go. Are you ah, strong? Oh. Honey. Yeah. Get yourself, baby. Get yourself. Come on. Job, man. Yeah. Oh. Come on. That's it. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. So the way I see it, I said it in yesterday's workout, this week is my last chance, my last opportunity to crush each workout. Because essentially this week is the last hard training week and then we deplete, which depleting the muscles is not easy, but it's not the same type of training necessarily. This is the, the last really intense training session. So each workout that I do is so crucial, so important that I give absolutely everything each and every day and leave no stone unturned. So yesterday started off the week, I did hamstrings and glutes and calves, crushed it. Today is our last chest workout. 
like I said, until next week when we uh, are on peak week. So basically this is my last chest and tricep workout before the Olympia in a sense. So the rest of this week, every day counts. Every rep, every set, every workout matters. So that's why I'm fired up every day. Finish strong, baby. 11 days. Relentless mindset, unwavering, focused. I'm gonna push through the pain, persevere each and every day. The challenge, the obstacle, the struggle that's the opportunity. You gotta embrace it, you gotta take it in, face it head on. We're not just bodybuilding, we're character building. You never know the ripples that you can cause in this world, for better or for worse, positive or negative. You may think you're doing it for you, but there's people out there watching, whether it's online, maybe it's uh, friends or family around you, maybe it's your uh, child, your spouse, but no matter what, we have an effect on so many people around us. So you may think that you're doing it for yourself. You may say, oh, this is selfish, but what an impact you have on people. When people see you going through a grind, whether it be in bodybuilding, whether it be in life, when people see you going through a grind and you persevere and you push through, you know, that's that's inspiring, that's motivating. You know, I hope I can motivate and inspire many people, not just the people that are watching me online, watching me at the Olympia, but you know, I wanna be a good father, I wanna be a good husband, I wanna be a good friend, I wanna be a good family member. I want my loved ones to grow stronger because of me. And not because of me, but because of themselves. Because the only way for somebody else to grow stronger is to go through a challenge also. But seeing someone else go through a challenge and persevere and come out on the other side better because of it, that should give people confidence. That should give people motivation and inspiration to know that they can do it too. Because just like in the Bible, God uses the most unlikely people for his greater glory. And I mean, listen, people see me now, but when I was growing up, when I first started weight training in the gym, I was a small kid. I was 112 pounds. And I went to the gym for the first time and said, I wanna get bigger, I wanna put on some muscle. So, did I ever think that I would be an Olympia bodybuilder or Mr. Olympia? Definitely not at that time. 
but something inside of me, deep inside of me said, this is what you're supposed to do because you love it, you have passion for it. And if you put the work in, you stay dedicated, stay disciplined and you persevere, maybe, just maybe you can make it to the top. Maybe you can be the best in the world. Somebody has to be the best in the world. So why not you? And that was my mindset. And I just kept at it and kept at it and kept at it. So I feel like I'm someone that's kind of an unlikely person to be an Olympia bodybuilder or a Mr. Olympia. Come from a small, small town of Indiana. Small kid. I didn't even know what bodybuilding was. I just knew that there was a gym in my town and I loved wrestling and I knew I needed to get bigger and put on some muscle. So I just went to the gym and I fell in love with it. And that's where my passion grew. So I feel like there's a lot of people that might even have a, a better start than I did. And if they have that same burning desire inside of them, that same passion, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to push through the hard times and embrace the good times, embrace the challenges, maybe they can be the next Mr. Olympia. That's it, done. 11 days out, chest, triceps, smoked. Oh man, it's not easy, but we want it. Let me tell you, we want it. I wanna see what the, the biggest guy in the world looks like. I've well, never I wanna get the Mr. Beast reaction. Okay, let's All see right, it, let's, let's see it. All right. Here, for reference, no one come over here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need some help with your shirt. I just wanna, yeah, you're a little sweaty, but.